Choices are being made right now, decisions that affect the very future of our children, our families, our lives, our homes, our countries, the free world. And uh, the recent decision by Spain, Norway, Ireland, I don't know what other countries, to recognize a Palestinian state after the massacre, uh, along with the, on the heels of the ICC kangaroo court, the International Criminal Court arrest warrant against Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Was it also Yoav Gallant, our defense minister, Sinwar, and I think Mohammed Def. Um, all together, like they're all the same. Oh, it's frustrating. People are making decisions and they're looking at this Israeli-Palestinian conflict again. And you know, mob frenzy, mob rule, sometimes mobs can make the wrong choice and chant the completely erroneously wrong thing. It's like the ancient Hebrew writer from the Galilee named Mark chapter 15. And at the feast, Pilate used to release for them one prisoner, whoever they wanted. And among the rebels in prison who had committed murder and insurrection, at the insurrection was a man named Barabbas. And the crowd came up, began to ask Pilate to do as he usually did for them. And he answered them saying, do you want me to release to you the king of the Jews? For he perceived that it was out of envy that the chief priest had delivered him up. But the chief priest stirred up the crowd to have him release for them Barabbas instead. And Pilate said to them, what shall I do with this man that called the king of the Jews? And they said, crucify him. Pilate said to them, why? What evil has he done? He's got a good record. And they shouted all the more, crucify him. So Pilate, wishing to satisfy the crowd, released for them Barabbas. And having scourged, whipped uh, Yeshua, delivered him to be crucified. And this is where we are right now as, as a society, as societies around the world. You know, Israel's not perfect, with a perfect record like Yeshua, but a nation that simply wants to survive a free democratic society and live in peace. On the other hand, Hamas is advocate, and, and those advocating for a Palestinian state are really seen like Barabbas, a murderous group. That, did, that, that has genocidal intent that just somehow after the massacre suddenly is garnering support from crowds all over the world saying, release to us Barabbas, release to us Hamas. It's very interesting that these people, they act like they are very holy and the West is unholy, but. Today, some argue for the legitimacy of a Palestinian state and they say they're under oppression. They're under occupation, which is not true. And they say a Palestinian state will give them a right to self-determine and slogans like free Palestine from the river to the sea. And it encapsulates this sentiment. And we see on the other hand, a nation that just wants to live for the kids to go to kindergarten, for my son to do his bar mitzvah, for our, for the, the, our, our family to survive and thrive and plant our crops and build our house. And, and, and so the crowds, even the nations feel- <laughs> Crucify Israel. And, and, and on the other hand, the murderous group in the insurrection, they scream, free Palestine. That's what we're seeing. Will the nations of the world side with those who are, who are, who are looked at as murderers, a terror group essentially, and grant them statehood? I don't know how, how, who wants to live next to a terror nation, a nation that has, unless it all changes completely from the top to bottom, A to Z, Aleph to Taf, Alpha to Omega, you know? It's got to all change over there. And uh, where's, you know, will they stand with Israel on our quest for peace, for security, to re let our people go back there without be having a rocket shot on them or a massacre happening to them, to their houses, but also in the north, on the Lebanon border, where the other terrorist group Hezbollah is. So there's a moral choice between, between supporting evil or innocence. There's very little middle ground here. Think about it. I'm sure that at the time of Yeshua, people were saying, well, maybe Barabbas was oppressed. Well, maybe this murderer was just doing it as a means of liberation. Uh, Barabbas should be free from the river to the sea, you know? It seems like there's a parallel that's kind of what the nations are deciding to do right now. And if you wanna be on the side of Hamas murderers and you wanna grant them freedom, and you wanna grant them an entire state, that is a very dangerous choice for the future. Or are we on the side of Israel? Yeah. Are we on the side of Israel? It doesn't matter if we feel like it's, it's an anointed country or if it's a special place in the eyes of God, which it is. But if you don't even think that, what about just a bunch of people who want to live in peace? And I want to be clear. I'm not saying that Israel's perfect. It's not perfect. Okay? But there is definitely a, a Psalms 2 kind of reality here. Why do the nations rage and the people imagine a vain thing? The, 
kings of the earth set themselves up and take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, let's burst their bonds apart. Let's cast away their cords from them. The anointed ones of God are being targeted, singled out, and blamed while being innocent. What are you going to do? Where are you going to stand? What choices will you make? 